Okay, I'll do it just now. Okay. <laughs> Working out. Okay. So it's. I like that. That's good. Yeah, it's that's just, that's just something to you. Oh, you uh, foam and rafters. Do you see conditioning or ventilation of that? Say that if you foam the rafters, yeah, with isoning or something like that, and you don't do anything on the attic floor, mm -hmm. does that attic space need conditioning or exhaust or ventilation or anything? Answer it depends. <laughs> I can't. It depends on, you know, obviously you're looking at insulating those rafters, you want to plan it ahead. So the easiest way to do that, well, there's two easy ways. You can make it an unvented system, or you can actually make it a vented system and you just basically put those baffles all the way up through the roof line and you have like some sort of ridge vent on the top or something. And then you just spray over the baffles, you know, and then that's where your, your insulation comes from. So if, if you have people who are a little, I don't know about this unvented idea, that's that's one of the easiest ways to do it. You basically just baffle the whole thing and you, you, you put your insulation in and then you're free to put you know, drywall in there and finish it all up because it's actually ventilated in the areas it needs to be ventilated along the roof line. So, so you don't advocate closing that up? I, I do. I'm just saying some people are very... We see it on oceanfront houses, really. You don't want that area. Exactly. No, it's a perfect yeah, brilliant brilliant example. But people, um, you know, again, you know, it's like Paul said, change is hard. They, they've heard about, you know, you need to ventilate your attic. You know, that's this contract of life. We run into it all the time. So they, they say, no, we're going to ventilate this attic. You know, hell or high water, we're going to ventilate it. So yeah. we, we basically have two, two places. It's confusing. I just ran into an inspector who uh, he said, well, let me know what your HVAC guy thinks. He didn't know. I did fall on the roof. Yeah. And he said, you should ventilate that. Well, my HVAC guy said, no, you should. It's already conditioned because you don't have insulation on the attic floor. Now, I'm not one to, to quote code, but I'm pretty sure there's a new provision in 2009 that actually allows you. Because even before 2009, there wasn't a code to, or there wasn't anything to code about unvented right. attics at all. I think it had the strength. But I think now it actually says you can do it under these circumstances. Have any of the, oh, sorry. the hot roof is the best thing going. I was just going to have, have yeah. any of the builders here uh, done the hot roof thing? And have you gotten any pushback from uh, like uh, on shingle warranty? The shingle thing? warranty is just the, is the thing that's been sort of gray area and still has that yeah. they need to look back into, but that's typically where you're trying to process. Which is where the, the thing that Chris was suggesting would uh, come into play potentially. Yeah. So the issue I've heard with, with prop event uh, baffles.
I've, I've seen them. I've, I've toured Owens Bill with them, and I mean, they're really pretty, pretty impressive, and pretty cool. It's like trying to, I think, on a little addition or something, if you were, you know, almost like where you'd be doing a clockwork foundation, and you'd have a pretty cool, good way to go about it. Yeah. Why not call that effect? There's probably more of them, I'm so sad, sure. Mark while he's here. Is that okay, Chris? Just on asking him a question about how the state's doing. You know, are we getting dragged, kicking and screaming into the new energy future? Or do you see a momentum for some of the development for what the state's doing? And how do we compare with some of the other states? What do you see from where you're sitting? Do you, do you mean specifically on building code stuff? Or well, on? yeah, let's stick to building code. I'm talking general. I'm talking general, but, you know, what Ian's doing up there at the state level, I think, is laudable nationwide. And just want to get a sense of how we're moving forward. Is it um, is well, it going to fail like it did in the we 80s, we or are we going like to go to forward? Claim that we're at the head of the pack. We're at the um, head of the pack. And I think certainly, on, well, on building codes, ICC, ICC 2009 has been adopted by all of New England, so we're not the only ones there. And I don't know how many other states maybe 15 states altogether and some others will join it. So there's a bunch doing that. The stretch code, we're definitely at the head of the pack. As you said right at the beginning, um, Federal Department of Energy just